नेशनल हेल्थ प्रोग्राम्स ऑफ पाकिस्तान मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट नेशनल हेल्थ प्रोग्राम डिस्क्राइब हॉरिजेंटल एंड वर्टिकल प्रोग्राम्स ऑफ पाकिस्तान एंड डिस्कस वेरियस इशूज इन हेल्थ प्रोग्राम्स ऑफ पाकिस्तान एंड हाउ टू सॉल्व फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट डू मीन बाई हेल्थ प्रोग्राम a uh, health program is a designed program to provide health care facility to each and every citizen of country to each and every member of community mem- uh, of community as this is his basic right to have good health care now come to the standard definition of health program actually health program is a coordinated comprehensive set of health promotion and protection strategies that includes programs policies benefits environmental support and links to the surrounding community designed to encourage the health and safety of all of community member this is the formal definition of a health program there are two modes of healthcare delivery system or health programs the one is horizontal and the other one is vertical mode horizontal health program are permanent they are more structured they can generalize for whole country uh these programs from the basic health services structure of any country like uh, primary healthcare setups secondary healthcare setups and so on so health services are delivered through public finance health system they are commonly referred as comprehensive primary health care actually horizontal health program is basically a primary health care uh for some reasons uh which i talked to you which i discuss in uh, my later slides uh horizontal programs are the oldest of the two modes of delivery they were derived from primary health care originated as part of who and unicef declaration in almata in 1978 as i said earlier horizontal programs are for the whole nation like uh, they are more uh, they are focus on providing integrated health care for interrelated health problems for entire population right uh some sort of vaccination journal gynae checkup and some minor illnesses they are the basic unit for preventive and primary health care of national health system and they are usually financed by national health system you can see in the diagram as well that how these units combinedly form a horizontal system among all types primary health care system has more importance as uh, prevention is better than cure and primary health care is all about prevention from diseases vaccination and uh, follow up clinics sort of things what do you mean by vertical health program well a uh, vertical health program are in fashion these days people want to talk more about these programs because uh, as compared to horizontal the vertical health programs are temporary they are formed according to the health situation for a limited time period till the resolution of that particular situation or disease uh, these programs have their own target population or diseases like uh, polio eradication program they target some sort of population uh children under the age of 5 years and they target a specific disease that is called poliomyelitis they cannot generalize uh, like uh, for example polio eradication programs tb control programs and yes uh covid-19 that's the major pandemic emergency these days so vertical programs are directed supervised and executed either wholly or a great extent by a specialized service using dedicated health workers vertical delivery system of health service implies a selective targeting a specific intervention not fully integrated in health system right uh okay 
This slide showing a crystal clear difference between horizontal and the vertical health program. Like uh, in vertical health program, we will focus on priority diseases. Uh, we in vertical healthcare program relationship limited to program implementation, not the whole infrastructure, program defined disease control intervention, and it's a responsibility for disease control target among the target population. Poliomyelitis is for Pakistan and Afghanistan only, not the entire world. Population target of disease control intervention, right? Uh, there is a specific disease target. In the same way, uh, as compared to vertical healthcare program, horizontal programs focus on health needs, enduring personal relationship, comprehensive continuous and person-centered care. It has responsibility for the health of all in the community along the life cycle and people are partners in managing their own health. Well, these are some uh, major vertical programs in Pakistan which we are going to talk about like uh, EPI expanded program of immunization, national program of family planning in primary health care, uh, usually most commonly called lady health worker program, cancer registry programs, national malaria control program, Pakistan polio eradication program, national TB control program and AIDS program, AIDS control program. So our first vertical program and the most important program is expanded program of immunization EPI uh, this is the most important and large scale health program in Pakistan uh, it is its target population is uh, children and female of childbearing age uh, the two most vulnerable population of our community children and uh, female of childbearing age, reproductive age. They, these are the two most vulnerable population. So this program target these populations. It was launched in 1978 and their aim is to protecting children against various diseases like uh, childhood TB, polio, diphtheria, pertussis, measles, mumps, rubella, tetanus, etc, etc. They are uh, it's aimed to protect mothers against tetanus toxoid, uh, tetanus and uh, the aim of EPI is to is to reduction of child mortality and mobility as we all know that mortality means is death number of death and uh, you have to decrease your number of death child number of death and mobility means uh, number of illness number of disease person uh, it also control of other diseases by introducing new vaccine in EPI like uh, pneumococcal vaccine has been recently added into the program rotavirus is uh, recently added into the program and uh, so on okay uh, let me take a little break I, I'm just uh, please open your chat box and tell me that uh, if you all are with me and listening my lecture are, are, are you with me beta say yes in the chat box Good. So is there okay 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 nice 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 okay beta okay okay Thank you, thank you. Achha, I hope I'm not going too fast because of course uh, uh, you can have the recorded version of this lecture as well. So I'm trying to speed up myself for the sake of your time and convenience. I hope it's okay for you. Is it okay for you? Okay, better. Thank you, thank you, beta. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, beta. Lady Health Worker Program, National Health Program, National Program of Family Planning in Primary Health Care, most commonly known as Lady Health Worker Programs. And uh, what a health program it is! Absolutely fantastic. But yes, implementation is the main issue. Uh, 
I for myself I consider this program more structured and useful than barefoot doctors of China it's a program run by the government of China uh, I think in 1960 you can google about uh, barefoot doctors uh, that's another very interesting health program and they care they raise their health status with the help of this program but this but our program lady lady health worker program is beyond the you know beyond the level and uh, please uh, uh, after this lecture google barefoot doctors of china b a r e f w -O, o t barefoot doctors of china anyways let's let's uh, come to the lady health worker program it's a bridge between the healthcare and the community uh, because uh, uh, transportation is a basic and the main issue in our remote areas so it's something like uh, home delivery of treatment of minor illnesses and basic medical knowledge uh, okay they are providing promotive preventive and curative service to their communities in the field of health education maternal and child health nutrition family planning and treatment of minor illnesses they also involve in national level of uh, uh, national level health activities like polio eradication campaigns they helped a lot in polio eradication campaign and epi vaccination etc they can vaccinate the child at their home at uh, child's home right okay so of course as far as the training of this these workers is concerned uh, there are 15 months training at first level care facility first level care facility means primary health care setup of that particular area and 15 days refresher course refresher training course every year their home I mean lady health workers home is designated as health house because uh, you are getting so much information medical and healthy information from this house so it is designated as health house health facility in each union council as their focal point so if uh, if there is a bhu basic health unit in a particular area their focal point is basic health unit if there is a dispensary in a particular area their focal point is dispensary okay okay supervision is the key beta supervision is the key for the success of any program any program without supervision there is no program in the whole world so lady health supervisor is an another designation uh, for monitoring and supervision of lady health workers one lady health supervisor supervises up to 20 to 25 lady health worker so at presently 3700 3700 lady health supervisors in the field to supervise approximately 1 lakh lady health workers all over the country well cancer were neglected areas in our healthcare services since many years but now we are getting more serious about it and uh, we are working on it Karachi cancer Reg registry is one of the most important plan uh, this initiated was initiated in 1995 among different private and government hospitals of Karachi like Dow University of Health Sciences pathology lab and pathology lab of course uh, cancer is diagnosed in a pathological lab uh, histopathology examination ke after a histopathology examination you diagnose that somebody has some sort of cancer so uh, in Lakhar National Hospital pathology they work a lot in Karachi cancer registry plan program so it is the first population based cancer registry program of Pakistan it is a voting member of International Association of Cancer Registries so why Karachi uh, the answer is simple Karachi is just like many Pakistan uh, you can find each and every race ethnicity of Pakistan in Karachi uh, there is an article of mine on 
racial disparity of squamous cell carcinoma in a tertiary care hospital of Karachi, Pakistan. And you can go through it. It is a very information informative article, related, something related to cancers, their mode of transmission, their exposure, and uh, their uh, and the patient race race, right? Um, I, I I will share you the link of my article if you want to read it uh, through my Twitter account, and I can email you if you want. There are a variety of cancer data recorded in this program in order to get the actual situation of cancer in Pakistan. We are on very preliminary stage. We are just gathering the data uh, for different kind of cancers in order to combat uh, the aims. Uh, what are the aims of Karachi Cancer Registry is to prevent the one third of annually occurring cancers by prevention and to prevent one third of annually occurring cancers by early diagnosis and from treatment to minimize exposure the risk of the cancers and these are the major cancers uh, and the data of uh, tuberculosis cancers breast cancers gi malignancies and female genital tract malignancies is gathering okay it's collecting uh, well AKUH Aga Khan is also keeping its eye on cancer cases in Pakistan that's so good and uh, it is established in 2000 at Aga Khan University pathology based cancer registry it has 104 104 104 centers and they are increasing their centers 10 new centers annually per year okay uh, and it is an associate member of International Association of Cancer Registry Karachi Cancer Registry is voting member and Aga Khan is associate member of International Association of Cancer Registries. Okay, National Malaria Control Program. Unfortunately, malaria is a big problem for us up till now. It has been it has been eradicated, you know, uh, from the rest of the world. Major uh, eradicated from uh, your whole Europe but it is still a problem for us it is initiated in 1960 and it's aimed to improve the health status of the population by effectively controlling malaria through implementation of the rollback malaria strategies uh, their objective is to coordinate countrywide efforts for implementation of the rollback uh, malaria initiative for 50% reduction in the malaria burden in Pakistan by the year 2020 current year by the year 2020 greater than 70% of high risk population uh, of course uh, those who live in near marshy areas those who live in slums high risk population of Pakistan having access and using effective malaria prevention and treatment these are some major national indicators for disease load estimation. Disease load is directly proportional to disease load is directly proportional to disease burden of the country, right? Uh, these are the some national indicators like annual parasite incidence. Which type of parasite is usually involved in your particular area? Malaria falciferum is involved. Or other parasites are involved number of cases per thousand population per year annual falciferum instead because uh, falciferum is the most lethal one lethal one uh, parasite that cause malaria so annual falciferum incidences uh, blood examination rate ber br is, is number of slides examined uh, per population multiplied by 100 slight positivity rate how many slides are positive for malarial parasites annually these are few uh, these are few indicators and uh, now the strategy is to early diagnosis and rapid treatment of malaria multiple prevention multiple preventive methods uh, early detection and response to epidemics effective behavioral change communication uh, partnership with the international and national government and NGOs 
and focused operational research of course uh, if you want to educate people uh, you're not going to the defense dha area they are literate people uh, they know how to protect themselves uh, from malaria so you go to the slum area so focus operational research bhi honi chahiye okay pakistan polio eradication program uh, i'm sorry to say but uh, this is something really bitter and very painful reality that there are only two countries since ages since ages where this crippling disease is endemic i hope that uh, you can differentiate between between the pandemic and endemic okay so this disease is endemic it's specifically related to our country pakistan and afghanistan the rest of the world is free from polio sadly started in 1994 the uh, okay there are Two lakhs and sixty thousand polio vaccinators are assigned for this purpose and for this program. It is a heavy funded program by WHO. Pakistan and Afghanistan are two remaining countries. There, there has been a massive decline in polio cases in Pakistan from twenty thousand every year in the early nineties to only eight. cases in 2018 because of because of what because of sadly because of the direct involvement and direct involvement and participation of world health organization they hired their own personnel they hired their own staff and of course it was our cup of tea but they are more interested in eradicating polio mellitus from our country so that's a very sad point and that's a very you know painful thing okay who with unicef and other key part of the global polio eradication initiative supports the government of pakistan in polio eradication efforts like uh, okay uh, what is the challenge of course challenge as long as the virus continues to circulate in pakistan no child not even a single child is completely safe from the from contracting the polio virus it's a very very uh, disaster and very terrible situation uh, it is shared responsibility of all pakistanis ensure that all vulnerable children under the age of 5 are vaccinated against this deadly disease in every door to door campaign okay there are few more programs left uh, like national tuberculosis program uh, you must remember that ad on tv uh, do not take light if coughing more than 2 uh, weeks have you heard about that ad that was tb control program initiative so statistically and sadly pakistan ranks fifth among tb high burden countries worldwide and the fourth highest number in multi drug resistance tb 61% of tb burden of eastern mediterranean region and 4 lakh and 22000 new tuberculosis uh, cases emerge emerging every year in pakistan So, what are the aims of objective in this program? Uh, the first aim is expand access to free quality diagnosis and treatment for TB patients, and reduce human suffering and socio-economic burden associated with TB. Uh, two interesting thing that uh, TB is usually associated with poor socio-economic status because if you don't have money. you are not able to take good food uh, nutrient food in order to combat the tb virus or uh, sorry tb bacteria and uh, there is always a virus in my mind corona virus <laughs> anyways uh, protect vulnerable population from tb tb hiv and mdr tb mdr uh, stands for multi drug resistance tb and what do you mean by tb in hiv uh, statistically uh, 
we learned that uh, there is a strong association between the TB and HIV infected person. If a, if a person having TB, he, is, he or she is more prone to get infected by HIV. And if a patient having HIV, he or she is more prone to get tuberculosis. So there is a strange association between tuberculosis and HIV. Substantially reduce the burden of TB by 2025 in the line with the Millennium Development Goals. Okay, uh, what they are doing, they are 5,800 diagnostic and treatment centers providing free TB testing and treatment services. Multi-drug resistance TB management has started at three pilot sites. Uh, they are started but uh, they are on pilot they are on you know uh, initial stages so they are on only pilot sites available for multi drug resistant tuberculosis management who support the programs who support every each and every vertical program in third world or underserved countries since 2001 uh, in capacity building program evaluation technical assistance mobilization of resources okay so what do you mean by capacity building um, I will uh, okay uh, okay I will tell you the answer at the end of this session what do you mean by capacity building so don't forget to remind me okay so national HIV AIDS control program national HIV AIDS control program sadly HIV was not our cup of tea, was not our cup of tea, but unfortunately now it is our cup of tea and it is an emerging issue in Pakistani population like 0.1% uh, but of course it's a uh, number is it's a virus and uh, you know uh, due to some issues it's spreading very fastly 0.1% 70,000 to 80,000 of adult population in Pakistan infected with HIV what are the strategic objective a scale up program delivery because it's a social taboo so it's difficult to uh, implement this program scale up the program delivery create an enabling environment build the right capacity strengthen the institutional framework and uh, what are the priority areas of this control program increase investment and in capacity building technical and management capacity building uh, increase resource availability and the general awareness about HIV that uh, HIV is curable and HIV what is the mode of transmission and, and please if you have infected if you get infected uh, by HIV please do not hide yourself it can spread to your rest of your family so this kind of general awareness and injection safety uh, Pakistan is the top most country is using uh, you know un uh, unnecessary injection use uh, Pakistan in unnecessary injection use Pakistan is on the top most of country top country and blood and blood product safety like uh, there are many campaigns like if you want a blood if you want a blood print for your loved one, do not uh, deal with some uh, uh, professional blood donors. They are usually IV drug abusers and they can transfer their diseases, crippling disease like uh, HIV uh, from their body to your loved one. And surveillance and research. These are the few, very few, I think second last slide of my lecture. Uh, issues in the health program of Pakistan of course we all know what are the issues and uh, but of course we uh, these are the pictures that shows uh, the major issues and uh, after okay 